Hi, welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Today I am unboxing and reviewing a very unique diamond painting pen. It does not use pink wax or any other kind of adhesive and it does not need refills. It is called the e-painter from Edin mit Hertz in Germany. So I was on Amazon again buying something and decided to have a browse uh, for some diamond painting stuff. And I thought rather than just doing another diamond painting I would look at accessories and see if I could find something different. And I found this. Now I have never seen anything like this before. It is from a company called Edin mit Hertz. Uh, they are in Germany. I can see that all, everything on it is in German, it's not in English. But it is called the E-Painter and it is a diamond painting pen that uses a vacuum to pick up your drills. So you don't need to use pink wax, so you don't have the mess with the pink wax. You shouldn't have the problem with AB drills not sticking to the wax or the wax sticking to the drill and pulling it out of the pen. Um, <clears throat> So as soon as I saw this, I thought, yeah, I'm definitely going to get this. So very, very curious about this one. Um, a diamond painting pen that does not use any kind of adhesive. So you don't have to try the different waxes and the, the sticky dots and all that stuff. It's just a pump and it sucks air up into the pen and picks up the drills. That is the advert. What I want to do now is have a look at the reality. So <clears throat> this is how it came, uh, just in, in this box and um, not a lot to it. As I said, all of the instructions or anything are in German. Um, the, only, the only thing that I did was I Google translated what it says um, just up here. So it says ePainter uh, for use with diamond painting stones. So it is specifically for diamond painting. Um, this little piece here says lifts easily and safely with, su with suction power. So that is it. <coughs> so we'll open it up. Uh, the box isn't sealed. No, usually you get a piece of sellotape or something there but nothing. So we'll open it up and see what we get inside. Okay, uh, I'll just take everything out of the box. Not that much. <coughs> so, little booklet. I don't know if they'll have an English version in here. They don't. So, everything is in German. But I'm sure we can figure it out. So. Put the instructions to the side and only look at them if we really need to. So I think uh, well, two bags so we'll have a look at this part first. This is obviously the pump. So it's actually pretty light. So all it is is a pump and a hose and uh, this will be for the, the power I would imagine. So that is it, the pump and hose. And we'll see what we get in the other bag. As you can see we get a nice big diamond painting tray. Can't think where this one opens. Looks like it's sealed. Yep, can't see anything. So I'll just cut it. Oops.
adapter a uh, USB so that is to power the pump then we have a cable a uh, USB to the connector for this little box so that's pretty straightforward and um, then we get a nice big diamond painting tray this is the sort of size that I use uh, really like these very large trays got a lot of drills in them easy to pick up and shake it's very deep actually um, so straight edges in this very very steady and um, you can set your hand on it I use a tray that's in fact do I have it here uh, yeah <coughs> I think this is exactly the same size it's just the one I use is a, a sort of nylon type plastic I think uh, dimension wise they are exactly the same so really nice big tray if you compare it to the sort of typical tray that you get in a lot of diamond painting kits that would be the sort of typical thing you would get so very nice tray and then we have the pen so this is the diamond painting pen um, it's thicker than the normal pink ones it's got a little bit of uh, plastic it feels kind of rubbery I don't know I think you know I think it's plastic but it's got a soft feel to it so it makes it slightly thicker again we have um, I'm going to guess this is the standard tip it looks like the standard tip so just a normal diamond painting pen tip um, I've got a pink pen here just to compare so that's the difference in size might not look much but it is definitely uh, thicker thicker plastic um, thicker diameter I think slightly and I have a little hole in the end I'm guessing this is going to be rubber it feels like plastic um, because the hose will go inside this hole down inside here and uh, the pump will suck through the, the pen tip um, diamond painting pen tips if you ever look inside them they have a tiny little hole at the back so that's why this would work because it will suck the air up through that hole um, and pick up the drill so pretty straightforward I would imagine see how easy it is to fit the tube in the pen hmm, the tube is quite rubbery feel um, the hard part's going to be trying to thread this thing I would imagine because it'll need to be tight so we get a nice vacuum I have no idea the best way to do this because if it doesn't seal properly um, the vacuum won't work so it won't suck up the drills okay this is going to be very fiddly it would have been good if they had a little chamfer around here so it sort of helped to glide the, the tube in I mean, it's not that the, the tube is too hard or anything, it is soft and pliable, but trying to actually get it started is a problem. This could be the longest part of the video. But the whole point of this was to show in the real world what you can expect. Um, yeah. <laughs> The thing is, I'm having to do a sort of lean into the side of the camera. Try 
Let me squeeze that. Okay, this is going to be something that you're not wanting to do again and again, but once you get the tube in, it should be fine. You shouldn't really have to ever remove it, but <laughs> it is very fiddly. As I said, if they had chamfered it so the diameter was a bit wider and then it went narrow, um, it would be easier to feed the tube. Ah, you had it there. I'm tempted to cut the video and try and do it, but I'm sort of wanting to give a real idea of how fiddly this is. Okay, I'm going to lift it up closer to me so I can get a better look. It's going to be a good idea if I untie it, I suppose. <clears throat> okay, so... There actually is a video on the, uh, the Amazon page. It's uh, a woman with very nicely manicured nails. And all she did was basically put it up and twisted it a few times and then it started to feed in. I just wonder how many takes that took. Because it is not easy. Oh. There we go, finally. I was thinking that was going to turn into a 30 minute video of trying to put a tube in a pen. Um, right, now I know why she was spinning it because it is very tight. I'm trying to just push it, it doesn't do anything. Which is actually good because it has to be a very tight fit. So in the video she fed the tube down at least into this dark part. So all I'm doing is Turning the pen back and forward seems to work. I don't know if you need to press it all the way to the very bottom. I think that's it. It's reached the end. Whew. That's the hardest workout I've had for a long time. So now we have the pen. We've got this hose which is pretty long, in fact it's very long, which is good because I would imagine for most people this box is going to sit on the floor, well, as for me anyway, to reach a power point. So disconnect the cable, eh, disconnect the cable, the tie cable, take that off, and plug in the mains. Plug this into the USB. Oh, it's a little cover on that as well. Plug it into the USB. Then we'll take the whole thing down. And plug it into the mains. Now, that was something I was curious about. Just how loud is the pump? If you're in a very quiet room, which a lot of people would be, maybe down painting at night, definitely notice it. Um, you wouldn't hear it in the next room or anything like that, but yeah, you can probably hear it. It definitely makes a noise. Um, for me, it wouldn't matter because I listen to music while I'm diamond painting, so I have headphones on and um, it wouldn't matter. So I've just got it sitting at the side of the table. Bring up the cable. Um, I did notice a little warning in the box wherever I put it. In the back somewhere. Yeah, this uh, here. It's just saying that uh, be careful not to get a kink in the hose because obviously if you get a kink in the hose you stop the vacuum and it won't work. So that is 
the pen ready to go um, what I forgot to do was get drills so I need to go and get some drills so I'll just take some out of this kit that I'm working on take these nice blue, blue ones pull some out and I'm really curious to see how this works or how well this works I'm going to give it a quick try just here then I'm going to change the camera angle and get it closer so you can see the pen picking up the drills and then I'm going to actually work on the diamond painting that I have in progress underneath these mats so just to, I can actually hear it hiss uh, that piped up absolutely no problem no problem I can feel the suction on that. So it's, it picks them up very, very easily. It's got quite a strong suction, which uh, is obviously what you want. So once you pick it up, you don't have to worry when you're moving about that it's going to fall off. It seems very uh, steady. Um, so once you put it down in the glue, the glue will be strong enough to hold the drill and when you lift up the the drill will be left on the glue. So uh, yeah, I'm going to set up a different camera angle and let you see it um, picking up the drills. Try and get it as close as I can and stay in focus. And then after that, we'll actually try some diamond painting with it. But the suction is definitely good enough. Um, it's no problem at all. You just touch the drill and it sticks to it. So, so far, very good very fiddly to get the tube in but uh, I finally managed it so we'll have a closer look so now uh, we'll have a, a closer look and I've actually put the pump on the floor the cable of the tube is long enough that you can put the pump on the floor doesn't sound as loud but again if you're in a totally silent room you can hear it um, not that loud though but you can definitely hear it it's not a not a silent pump so i'll try uh, just going really slowly towards it and see how it picks up you can hear it the suction so i'll try again so Shaking the pen a lot, an awful lot, and it's still stuck. So, it definitely works. Um, if you're a person, I'm just thinking, if you're a person that works on an easel, where the diamond painting is much more vertical than, than I have mine, um, you don't have to worry about the drills falling off. Um, you saw how much I was shaking that. So, once you pick it up, that's it. The only way it's going to fall off is if you accidentally kink the cable or if somebody switches or unplugs the pump. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely going to work. I actually thought about this a long time ago um, when it was, I, I did a video called Which Wax Wins. I tried, I forget, some like 15 types of wax to try and find out which one lasted the longest. And back at that time, I was thinking, wouldn't it be great if somebody invented a pump inside the pen so you wouldn't need to use wax? Um, maybe that isn't quite possible yet, but I suppose this is the next best thing. But when I saw it, it's the first time I've seen anything like this, um, and I thought, that is very interesting. So, definitely works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this cover and... I'm going to work on a little bit of the diamond painting that I've got in progress and we can just see how it works uh, in, in practice. Okay, so this is the diamond painting that I'm working on at the moment. It's called Outside the Sweet Shop from a Diamond Art Studio. And um, all I have to do now is switch on the light pad 
and then we'll give it a little try. If you can hear a sort of whiny, like dentist drill noise in the background, it's because one of our neighbours has decided to start drilling, so there isn't much I can do about it. Um, I did notice, this is the tray that came with it, uh, I did notice when I put it down, it's not flat, it's slightly warped, um, which would irritate me, uh, probably just one of these things, maybe... Uh, I just got a bad one. Uh, if I touch the corner, don't know if you can see the movement. If I put the one that I normally use, it doesn't do it. So maybe just this tree. Anyway, uh, we'll give it a try. So you can actually hear the air when you pick it up. Putting it up to the microphone. Don't know what they're doing outside now. So when it's got the drill, um, you can actually hear the the ear. But absolutely no problems. Um, I was I was not worried, but I was curious to would the drill stick? How accurate would you have to be with the pen? Um, I'm not really thinking what I'm doing here, just aiming it at the pen and it picks it up. The main thing is it doesn't drop it. As I was saying, I'm, I'm thinking about people who work on easels that are uh, tilted a lot higher than this. I'm sure um, drills being dropped when you're working at that angle are very annoying. The other thing, as I said, is with AB drills, you won't have to worry about the drills being uh, the drills pulling the, the wax out of the pen because there is none. Um, you won't need to try and search for wax or glue dots or anything that lasts longer than anything else because unless something goes wrong with this hose um, or the pump, this will always work every time. You won't have to stop to refill anything. The minus side is it will only work with diamond painting pen tips that have the hole, which is the standard tip um, that you get in all the kits, like these pink pens, it's the same tip. So um, if you damage the tip on this, you can just replace it. You won't be able to use a tip that you've already been using the pink wax because the pink wax will block the hole. Um, even if you pick the pink wax out, what happens is the wax actually goes up inside that tiny little hole. And if you use the same pen for a long time, you start to see like a little pink worm working its way up inside the pen. Um, it's just there's a, a very, very small hole in the tip and there has to be for this to work. So you can't use any other kind of tip. The other thing is obviously you can't use multiplacer because the hose goes in this end and the multiplacer wouldn't have a hole in it so you wouldn't get a vacuum. So multiplacers uh, wouldn't work with this. It's only single placing with a standard tip. Um, but after saying that, that's all I ever did with the pens. Um, I, I never used multiplacers so for me, um, that this would be an ideal solution because as I said I listen to music with headphones on and um, I wouldn't be able to hear the pump I don't know if you can hear it now it's, it's on the floor um, the only time that you notice it really I think is if it's totally silent in the room like at night time but it wouldn't annoy anybody outside the room um, I don't know if it's one of these things you would just get used to and you wouldn't notice it I know that some people have what they call white noise machines that make noise um, and it helps them sleep. Some of the noises are a bit like this, some are like air conditioning units and different things. So I don't know, some people might find this relaxing, some people might find it a bit irritating. Um, you do hear a hiss when you pick the drill up and you can hear it all the time until you drop the drill. 
again, I don't know, it's a, I don't know, a like or dislike thing. I don't know if you can hear that. I'm going to put the pen down on the drills. You can hear it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. But there is one more thing that I want to show you. So this is the e-painter pen as it comes. But um, there was one other thing in the box and it was this. This little piece of rubber tubing. And the purpose of that is if you do not want to use this pen for whatever reason, you can convert it so it can take a normal pink pen. Or if you happen to have um, a similar diamond painting pen that maybe has the squidgy on it. I'm thinking maybe this is why they've added this. Don't really see the benefit of switching to just the pen itself. Um, this pen is slightly thicker than the pink pens, but if you want a bit more comfort and maybe slightly thicker again, you get the little foam squidgies with the pens. Um, you can convert this so it'll work with this pen. That is the theory. So the idea is you get your pen and this little tube goes inside that. Now that went a lot easier. Now the bit that I'm not looking forward to because it means I'm going to have to put it back in again is taking this tube out of the pen and you know how long that took me. Pop. So now the pen is tubeless. So the idea is this tube goes inside the tube and that actually went pretty easy. The hard part now is I'm going to take it out of this pen. Um, because it's rubber and rubber it's pretty hard to get through but I suppose that means it should be sealed. We'll find out. So put this back in. As I said that was a lot easier than uh, trying to get it in the actual e-painter. E so now we're geared up. Um, I'll just get my tray back again. We may as well test it just to make sure it does work. So I'm just going to pick them up off the tray, see if it works. So I'll plug the pump back in. see if this works. Yep, picked it up straight away. I can actually hear the air coming through the pen. <coughs> actually sounds louder than the original one did. I don't know why that would be. Maybe this isn't quite closed. That looks okay. Probably hear that. But definitely works. Um, even picked up two. I think it depends how centered you are when you pick the drill up. If you get it right on top, it's a bit quieter. If you happen to hit it at an angle, it still picks it up. So the conversion works as well. I'll switch it back off. It'd be quite nice to actually have a switch on the box uh, rather than having to unplug. I'm going to try this again with the pen. See if I was just unlucky the first time. In the video, as I said, it looked as if all she did was sort of twisted it. And, uh, it's, it's definitely fiddly. But once it's done, 
you don't have to do it again unless you do something like that like that and decide you want to switch it's actually easier to, to uh, get it set up on your sort of standard size pens it's just uh, yeah I just think if they had chamfered this so it was wider at the end and then it sort of channeled in it would make it a lot easier to put this hose in You ever wish you hadn't done something? I think this time once I get it, um, it's not going to come back out. There might be a technique to it, but I don't know what it is. Last time must have been just pure luck that it did go. But I think I'm... It's nearly... If you don't have patience, this uh, won't be much fun. Find someone who does and ask them to do it. Well, it's weird that it's like, you just feel as if you're getting nowhere, getting nowhere, and then suddenly it works. So somebody outside has decided Sunday afternoon is a perfect day to drill and hammer. So if you hear noises in the background, sorry about that, but there's nothing I can do about it. I'm not sure if it's easier to spin the pen back and forward, but I think it actually has. All I'm doing is trying to get the hose back down to the bottom again, and then we'll be good to go but I think for me it's a really good idea it would definitely suit me um, I don't use multi-placers I never have so I wouldn't miss them and again I'm still thinking about people that have their diamond paintings much more vertical than I use and um, because I mean I drop drills, um, but they just land on the canvas. But if you've got a table like, or an easel tilted really high, um, if you drop the drills, they're going to land on the floor. I mean, it must be really irritating. It's not something that I've tried. But this would definitely solve that problem. And the problem with ABs, no more ABs um, sucking the wax out of your pen. So that is it, um, definitely something I've never seen before, uh, I tried searching under various names to see if I could find anything like it, I couldn't, so uh, yeah, that is the e-painter from Edin Mit Hertz. So that was the e-painter from Edin Mit Hertz from Germany, I think it is a very clever idea. Um, Definitely has advantages, uh, no more pink wax, no more having to refill your pen, no more pink wax uh, getting dropped in between your drills, that sort of thing. Um, no problems with ABs anymore. Uh, and again, if you're working at a steep angle, um, no drop drills. So a lot of things in favour. Uh, there are negatives though. You can't use a multiplacer. Um, you can only use the standard uh, diamond painting pen tips, the plastic with the brass inserts, because the brass insert has a very tiny hole in it and that's what allows it to suck air up, which picks up the drills. So if you tried to put in uh, stainless steel ones that don't have a hole in the back, um, they won't work. So um, it is restrictive in that way. But if you purely want to diamond paint with a pen, um, definitely works. Uh, I would I would use it. Um, the pump, it does make a bit of noise, but I mean it's not loud. Uh, 
if you had a TV or something on in the room, you probably wouldn't hear it. It's just normally when I'm in here, um, the, all all that's on is headphones and they're on me. Um, and I sit and listen to music, so I definitely wouldn't hear it. I don't know if it'd be one of these things where once you get used to it, you don't notice it. Like, uh, we've got a clock in here that ticks. When we first got it, we really noticed it because we weren't used to it. Now we've forgotten it's there and it still ticks, but we don't notice it. So um, I still think it is a very, very good idea. And if you don't multiplace, you're not interested in multiplacing, um, I would suggest um, having a look at it at least. But um, it just solves more problems than it causes um, as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, a very clever idea. I like it. Um, not for everybody though. If you multiplace, um, you can't put a multiplacer in the end. Alternatively, you could have a spare pen with a multiplacer in it. And if you need to multiplace, use that. And then uh, you can use this um, if you're just single placing. So really, it's up to you. But as I said, when I saw it, I thought this is very different. And I did a long time ago think about it. It'd be great if they had a pen that had a pump in it and it just sucked up the drills. It'd make things a lot easier. Um, they haven't quite got the pump down to being small enough to actually fit inside a pen, but this is as good as it gets so far anyway. You never know. In the future, they might come up with something. But um, yeah, I would say it's a lot more than a gimmick. Definitely a useful accessory. So that was it, the e-painter. Um, if you enjoyed the video, as always, please subscribe and hit the notification button. If you do that, you may catch me on YouTube Live. They have been few and far between recently because uh, of the diamond painting I am working on, which you saw a little piece of. Um, outside the sweet shop has 197 colours. Because of that, I have three cases of colour on the desk, plus my... Uh, trays and pen, uh, not pens, I don't, I don't use pens anymore, uh, tweezers um, and just various bits and pieces. So because of that, I don't have space on the table for the laptop. I am expecting to finish this diamond painting in about a week. Once that's done, you can expect to be, there to be quite a few lives um, so I can catch up with everybody again and I'll be working on some smaller diamond paintings for a bit. So that is it. Uh, as I said, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, hit the notification button. And that is it for today. So thanks for watching. And in the meantime, take care, be safe and wash your hands.